At least this ain't awkward. <laughs> you are funny. Howdy viewers, Brad proprietor of Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And this is a how-to video. How to get all of Arthur's core's gold. Now, I've talked about this in other videos. You make a minty, uh, oregano, a thyme, big game meat, you eat them, and Arthur gets health, stamina, and dead eye gold core for 24 hours. Now, again, easy enough to say how, or easy enough to tell you that's what you need to do. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. And the first thing you're going to need to do is get some big game meat. Alligators, cougars, panthers, bears, wolves all contain big game meat. And the easiest big game to get is you get a semi-automatic shotgun or any shotgun, and you make sure you use a slug, and you go hunt an alligator. Now, I killed a three-star alligator, so I'm going to sell the skin to the trapper. But after you skin it, you'll get five big game meat. Depending on the quality of the alligator, you can get anywhere from two to, I believe, five big game meat. A three-star alligator will yield five big game meat. And again, I'm going to sell the skin to the trapper. And alligators are the easiest. Go anywhere in the swamp. Find yourself one and shoot it. Now you got to start gathering um, mint, thyme, and oregano. I'm going to show you some great places to gather these three herbs. First thing you're going to need is mint. And this is an area where there's at least four mint plants that you can gather. And once you harvest the mint, you can make minty big game meat. Um, yeah, this is an area I know where I can definitely find mint. I come here often if I need mint. And it's probably the most common of the plants. You can find it almost anywhere. Once I get this gathered, I'm going to show you this location. And if you look on the map, it's right here, uh, right by the railroad tracks on this little peninsula not too far out of St. Denis, and you can find at least four mint plants, and it's not too far from where I shot the alligator. So on to the next minty area. This location, again, right here by whatever landing here, uh, Cyril's Landing, and yeah, you can find at least four mint plants here. And then I'm going to take you to a third place where I know you can find mint plants. can also find a lot of burdock root around here and yep copperhead landing find at least three mint plants here and 
you know, you can keep stocking up on mint, come back every three days. And not only that, you get these wonderful Barack roots or whatever. But now I'm going to show you where to find oregano. Or, yep, it would be oregano would be the next uh, uh, seasoning you need. Actually, I'm going to show you a fine location. And it's real close to an oregano location. So, yeah. These, this area, and I'll show you on the map, you can get both thyme and oregano in the same area. You just got to be in the right position. Now, I'll show you where this, where you can pick up this thyme, thyme, I'm calling it thyme anyway. It's right here above the N in Valentine, the first N, right above it. And then an oregano location is right near this. I had to run Arthur to the oregano location, but as you see, there's a bunch of it, and he can pick it. And it's not too far from the time location. Now I'm going to show you on the map where the, right here, just below the end in Valentine, not too far of a walk from the fine location up here. And you just run down and you can pick up oregano. Now I'm going to show you another location for, I think, oregano. And it's not too far from where you are currently. Now this oregano location is not too far from where... Arthur picked up the thyme and the oregano by the Valentine N. And it's actually behind Downs Ranch. I'll show you on the map once Arthur has harvested the oregano. And there's three plants here. Oregano you can find around Valentine area in great quantities. I mean, there's some berries I might as well pick. But again... This is behind Downs Ranch. Okay, this area is located, again, behind Downs Ranch. Now I'm going to show you an area where you can really pick some oregano, and a lot of it. This is not too far from Downs Ranch in a way, but you got to ride up here in this area. And then there are a couple of oregano plants up around here and then I'll show you another location where there's some oregano plants. This area here is located right where you can see Arthur here. And right across on the opposite, opposite cliff area should be some more oregano plants. Now in these locations, you're probably going to find some other herbs and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, this is Indian tobacco, I believe. I really don't want that. There's probably some, let's see. Yep, some bay bolt mushrooms. Harvest those. Again, it's just in this area, there's like a bunch of herbs and stuff like that. I believe when I did Herbalist uh, whatever challenge, 
I showed this area sort of and again you can harvest a lot those I think are Indian tobacco I don't want them but right here on the opposite cliff of the one I showed you before is some oregano and other stuff and now I'm going to show you where to pick up some thyme I was actually looking around and harvesting some other plants, but yeah, in this area by the Dakota River, behind Downs Ranch, there is a bunch of herbs, and even around Downs Ranch, there's a bunch of herbs. So again, let's go back to finding some thyme. I really don't care about the Indian tobacco, but it's the thyme I want, and there it is. Okay, I'm going to show you the location on the map, and it's right here, the, what is it, Elk Head area, just south of where we harvested the oregano, and it's on the Dakota River. You can find some thyme plants. Now I'm going to show you where you can really find some thyme. I'm by Flatiron Station, and I know there's more than one time location. I'm just trying to figure out where the other one is. There are two creeping thyme locations near Flatiron Station. I'm scouting around. Okay, now again, I'm on Flatiron Station. I'm further, I want to say northwest. The other one is located where I'm showing you. Yeah, you can pick up a lot of thyme in this area. Now that we have our three herbs, we're going to want to camp, sleep the night, and make the three big game meats to eat and build up Arthur's cores to gold. Now that Arthur has slept, he can start crafting the big game meat. And the first thing you want to do is minty big game meat. This will give Arthur's health core the boost to gold. Next up, oregano. And that will bring Arthur's stamina core up to gold. And of course, thyme, big game meat, brings up Arthur's dead eye. And there you have it. Arthur's cores are now all gold. And now I'm going to show you how to get your horse's cores to gold. You ride into a stable, and then what you want to do, I'm going to have to manage my um, owned horses. I'm going to switch from my Arabian to my 
uh, other horse, and then I'm going to give him, you go down to, uh, I got to buy up some provision, wait, nope, go to tack and services, go to services, horse care package, and that boosts your horse's cores to gold for 24 hours. If you found this video interesting and informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to like it. Feel free to uh, leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post seven video game related videos a week and you want to stay informed. As always, I'm Brad, the proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.